What's up, Storm fans? Brian Cook, and tonight we're playing Legacy. In particular, we are playing Belcher, or as I like to say, Belcha. Like you're from Boston, Belcha. There's even a Belcha town near Boston. Anyway, enough of that. So I have never, and I mean never, won a game on turn zero in my history of playing Magic the Gathering. That is a fact. And I'm not talking about turn one before your opponents play to land. That is a turn one win. I'm talking about turn zero in your opponent's upkeep. I have never won. I'm trying to change that tonight. So we are playing Leyline of Anticipation, and we are looking to activate Goblet Char Belcher on turn one in our opponent's upkeep or even Tendrils of Agony. That's what we're going for here. I hope we can make it happen. Uh, I just realized I forgot to put Pierre in the sideboard. We're going to change this real quick. Pierre. God, I'm wasting time right now. This is supposed to be a speed run, and I'm just killing time. All right, uh, we'll cut the second empty. There we go. So this is what we're playing tonight. Uh, I want to turn one win. We're going to make it happen. No more wasting any clock. I've already wasted a minute 10. Let's get this under 40 minutes. That's what I'm going for. Not a lot of time. See you in match number one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for a Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for seven tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us. Just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some Magic. All right, match one. Like I said in that intro deck tech, I do not have a lot of time tonight, so we are looking to go fast, looking to speed run this, and uh, that's what we'll do here. This hand does, in fact, Jessica's will into... An Echo of Ants for a bunch of mana on turn one and cards. So we're looking to turn one people and we're looking to win on turn zero. I could have mulliganed to a hand with Leyline in it, but it didn't seem like the right thing to do. All right, Ancient Tomb Lotus Petal, probably eight cast. Okay, passing five cards still in hand. Tinder Wall, okay, pitch the Spirit Guide. Do I just play the empty, I wonder? Okay, sacrifice the tinder wall, exile Jessica's will, target them for mana. If they force this, we echo, and if they don't, we empty. I guess we can empty no matter what. All right, empty for 10. So you could have a whole breacher here. So I wonder if I'm not supposed to echo. And just pass the turn instead. Don't play into the whole breacher. All right, no breacher. There's a saga. Okay. Oh, they're painter. And there's the painter servant. Sure. Ah, yeah. 
All right, so they're going to take nine down to nine life. Let's spin the wheel on Echo. Brand new hand, but it doesn't do anything. Oh, that sucks. We have to pass the turn. All right, they have three mana to start this turn. There's the painter servant. Name blue, okay. Lion's Eye Diamond doesn't do anything here. So we can put them to one. Uh, they can actually win the game here. Oh, I don't know why I didn't just cast this spell. That was stupid. Just credit Tinder Wall. So they get to make a mana, go get Grindstone. And then as long as they have something that makes a mana, we're dead. I can't believe this. I'm actually going to lose. How wild. There it is. They got me. Okay, so we're going into game two. That's a bummer. So we're on the play, which means that the ley lines don't do anything. Um, so I think we just board in like Vale of Summer instead. Gotta go fast. Ricky Bobby, right? Something like that. Still going to leave it empty, especially on the play. All right, game two. Let's see if we can open up a turn one here. Uh, nope, have to ship. So we have Belcher. So we bottom the Veil of Summer. Hold on. So if I bottom the Veil of Summer and print the Right of Flame, we have a turn two. I think I just have to keep this. Unfortunately, I'm one mana short. But I'm mulliganing to four. Okay. Gotta go fast. Diamond. Throw Mox. All right, turn one Grim Monolith, go. We have turn two Belcher. That's a Welder. And that's a Belcher. Ooh. All right, game two goes to us. No lands in our deck to reveal. Our deck list was built with Leyline in mind, so there are no lands. Okay. Bring the ley lines back in. I think we get rid of these veils. Let's go. I want that turn zero win. That's the whole point of this video and a speed run. I want 40 minutes edited. Game three. So we have ley line. Oh, we're one mana short. I think I keep this. So we're one mana short of lethal belcher, but I can echo. All right, in our opponent's upkeep. Let's do it. Come on, deck. Pitch the spear guide, right of flame. Burning wish. Go get echo of aeons. Belcher. I'm sorry, not Belcher, Layla, or Lion's Eye Diamond. Sorry, I'm just like really nervous about this. I want it to work. All right, flashback echo. Does this do it? Um, Chromox, pitch this. It does not. We have to let them have a turn here. I'm also short on being able to relay. I can't relay either. Okay, so I guess the question is, can I gamble? So I can Chromox and print this. No, I have to draw an artifact. Draw. Another spear guy. That actually doesn't do anything, though. I think I'm just going to imprint Leyline here and pass. Really stunk that we were just one... Uh, Mana short of a win there. Pyroblasting or a ley line? That's not very nice. Um, 
Yeah, we have to let that go. Draw. There's a Belcher. Alright, so any mana source off the top next turn does it. There's a Welder. Come on, deck, be good. Ding! Right of Flame. Belch. Good games! That was match number one. I hope you liked it. I will see you in match number two. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Match two on the play. Speed run continues. So we have two Belchers. We cannot win with this. Unfortunately, we're one mana short, actually. If I could cast this Tinder Wall, it'd be a turn one Belcher. Damn. Uh, this hand doesn't really do anything. I think we just go to five. Abuse the London Mulligan. Mulligan. Uh, this doesn't do it. Go to four. Go to three. All right, we have LED Echo. We're going to keep this. Okay. Mulligan to three. Mine's a diamond. Add three blue. Spin the wheel. And this is a turn one win on a mulligan to three. Belcher. Diamond. If this gets forced, we can still gamble for another Lion's Eye Diamond. Okay. Activate Belcher, target you. Aya. All right, game two. Turn one win on a mold of three. <laughs> Love it. Okay, uh, I don't think we boarded. Let's just resubmit. Game two. Um, this hand technically empties for a bunch. I don't know what our opponent's playing, but I'm going to keep this. Okay, opponent kept six. Marsh Flats, are you Reanimator? Mother of Runes, okay. Draw. Ooh, that's a Belcher. Is that a win? I don't know. I can't count. All right, play Grim Monolith. Opal. Tap this. We're one mana short of a Belcher. So the question is, do I play the... I'm just going to empty, I think. Make them beat 14 goblins on the first turn. Okay, 14 goblins. You could have just like played a Belcher there and hope that your opponent didn't have anything. But I'm going, I think that this is better. I don't know. Sure. All right. Draw. Get in. We can block two. All right. Do you have the answer? And that's the match. So I will see you in match number three. Go, go, go. Playing your favorite combo deck and paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm mini token pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for grape shot. Everyone's favorite Stormwind condition. A Galvanic Relay Exile Indicator, four treasure tokens for Strike It Rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has Slime Time Live! 
Eve Progenitor Ooze Tokens with the power and toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then Squirrels vs. Goblins, Chatterstorm vs. Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel Tokens and 20 Goblin Tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. Match three on the play. So unfortunately, Leyline is not good here. Neither is this hand. Ship it. This hand doesn't do anything. Go to five. Uh, this hand also doesn't do anything. Go to four. Three. So we're a mana off from Burning Wish into Echo. I think we keep this. All right, we just have to pass the turn, though, unfortunately. I, I guess I could have gone to two looking for exactly LED Echo. And they're on Elves. Oh, in fact, okay. Come on, deck. It's technically an artifact, just not one that I need. Wooded Foothills. Okay, Glisten her elf up to a 2-3. Invigorate. Do you have the Berserk? That's 10, so it looks like we're the ones getting speed run here. Okay, and that's game number one versus Infect. They got me. All right, Veil of Summers come in. Ley lines go out. Hit that submit button. Game two on the play versus in fact. All right, so here we have turn one right of flame. Burning wish. We can uh, we can gamble into echo. Uh, I think we keep this. Just dead to force, but oh well. All right, pitch, tender wall. Sacrifice this. Right of flame. Burning wish, floating a red. And that resolves. So I guess I could get relay here. I don't think relay is actually the choice because it's only a relay for five. Now we gamble for Lion's Eye Diamond, 75% chance of success. Obviously, it was me playing, so it was 0%. <sighs> it's tilting. Okay. It's always just in tomb for me. There's the hierarch, and, uh, you know what? I'm fine moving on from here. We're two and one. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a card hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your card hoarder cart to make life simple for you. All right, so we are facing Kai Sawatari, likely on Doomsday. We have the turn one ley line, but we're just short of Jessica as well. We have to ship this, unfortunately. Um, wrong spirit guide here. I mean, part of me wants to keep this and just hope to rip, but that's not a good decision. Screw it. We're going to do it. I'm just going to draw a red mana source. We'll have turn one Belcher into the wind. It'll be great. Cycle Street Wraith. Lotus Petal, Delta, and passes the turn. That's a red source. Oh, I can't cast that. Tender wall. Okay, right of flame. Right of flame. And Kai forces right of flame. Okay. So we do get to play Grim Monolith here. And pass the turn. 
So our best draw would be a Lion's Eye Diamond. Brainstorm. All right, they passed after the Brainstorm. We did not draw a Diamond. We have to pass the turn. Interesting. They didn't fetch it away either. So they must have another force. Yeah, they drew through their brainstorm. So they they have other forces in hand. Petal. Opal. Belcher. Surprise, surprise. They are at 14. Passing the turn. Another opal. I think we just pass here. Three rate right down to 12. Use the polluted delta. All right, they have a doomsday with three cards and an open mana. I am probably dead here. They're at five. Brainstorm, I am most certainly dead. Okay, now they just have to cycle, and then they got it. Ideas unbound, pedal, oracle. Okay, so we're going into game two. Bring in the ley lines. I'm sorry, bring in the veils, take out the ley lines. We're going to be on the play, so it's not like ley line does a whole lot anyway. I guess we could actually bring in the galvanic relays. Maybe take out, um, I don't feel like I'm supposed to take out empty. Maybe I take out the Jessica's wills. Let's submit this. Game two on the play against Doomsday. Uh, we have turn one relay, but like, it's not actually good here. I think we just ship this. This is interesting. I wonder if you're actually supposed to bottom the Veil of Summer. That can't be right. So if I keep this, I can go. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. So it's only going to be a measly relay for four. All right, relay, please be good. Burning Wish, Gamble, Belcher, Diamond. Okay, that's interesting. So what I'd like to draw is like a Mox Opal to turn on our Veil of Summer. Underground Sea, Dark Ritual, Doomsday. Are you going to turn one, Mikai? Would love to draw a green source, that's for sure. Draw, not a green source. Uh, let's play the diamond. Um, red, blue, play Burning Wish. Burning Wish resolves. We're probably just dead here, but who knows? And we're dead. I guess I could have like tried to resolve an echo there, but the way that Kai built the pile is that there was force and negation in it. I noticed that when I was scrolling through previously that there wasn't enough forces in there for there to not be one. So Kai had a force in hand and it just didn't matter. We were the one speed run once again. We are now two and two. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. All right, fifth and final match. We're facing Ziggy Stardust, who plays a lot of blue decks. Uh, this hand is not keepable, so we have to ship it. And I am not liking my chances now with the turn zero uh, ley line of anticipation win. So here we have a ley line hand, which is sweet, but we have the wrong spirit guide for having Mox Opal. So I don't know what to do here. I think I just have to ship this, unfortunately. 
All right, we have ley line, we have LED. So if I bottom ley line ESG, I end up being just short. I have to go to four. Ley line, gamble. Doesn't do anything. The three. Ugh. Damn. I think we just have to hope to spike aligns that diamond. Okay. That's the turn. The way that our deck is built, it's built to maximize the ley lines. So there's no land grants, there's no flip lands because you can't play those. Um, it doesn't make any sense to when you're running ley line. So if you're going to run the, the meme ley line build, you can't run those cards. So your mulligans are increased. Tundra into ponder. Draw. Right a flame. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to go for it. Right a flame. Gamble. We discarded Burning Wish, that doesn't really matter here. I have to imagine that our opponent kept a force. Knowing the matchup. And we gave them a few draw steps to find it. Fetching in response, I don't love that. Main deck Pyroed, sure. Alright, so we're on the play for game number two. All right, we want Veil of Summer through these ley lines. Honestly, I didn't love the relays. I don't think I even want those in the deck. Uh, if I was to play this deck again, I think I wouldn't play relay. It just doesn't work when you're uh, like a, a spirit guide deck. Like you, it just it's so awkward. Okay, game two. We have a spirit guide, but no action spell. I think we just have to mulligan. Um, guess we keep this. Bottom an opal. All right, diamond. Opal. Pass the turn. You know what? Screw it. Let's echo. Let's spin the wheel. They have a force. Oh, they didn't have a force. So I can play the Belcher, but not with Veil backup, which is really awkward. Belcher. And there's a force. All right. Set back to the Stone Age. And they have ending for my Mox. Oh. All right, I'm just going to call it. I'm sorry. I don't have it in me to play the rest of this out. We missed our opportunities. We finished this 2-3 after our 2-0 start. Sort of a bummer. Uh, but actually, this entire league was a bummer. We went 2-3. I didn't get to kill anyone on turn 0. We came close, but it didn't happen. Relay stunk in this deck. I would not play Relay again with all these spirit guides. Um, the meme was a failed experiment, but I'm glad we got to try speed running. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this at least a little bit. Thanks for watching. Take care. Keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.